one. Jack, that's some way to sign off and talk park for you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, look, it was actually probably what you dream of, and what my dad was joking with me all week. He's going to have to go in and treat it. Yeah, look, the job's not done he yet. He said score hat trick country too. He did, he sent it to me earlier in the week. He said, that's ah, uh, yeah, I was meant to say, look, we're going one day, let's go. But he says, nah, nah, get a hat trick country too. I mean, pretty being over the top, but look, it happened, so all good plan. I mean, there's a lot of pressure on you in that last minute when the ball drops and you fire it into the roof and net. What's going through your mind or do you have time to think? No, not really. It's probably just instinct. It's every day the manager's telling me in training, calm, calm, tranquilo, he says, relax. Ball's there, that's, that's my job, so. How big is that three points? It's massive. It's, it's hopefully going to get us into Europe. We'll see we need something next week. Yep. <laughs> uh, it's going to hopefully get us into Europe next week. If Obviously, depending on a few things need to happen for us. But, yeah, look, it's, it's, it's a dream of, isn't it? Um, the confidence will be easy to take a knock. Going from 1-0 up to 1-1, 2-1 to 2-2. How do you show that fight? Where's that resolve come from? what the team is about like it's, it's I think all season we've shown that we've like I know we shouldn't probably need to do it I used to do home no disrespect but we should be winning them games and we've won games this year we probably shouldn't have won tonight was definitely a game we, we should have won and look, I think a bit of magic all over from everyone even Jarvis winning the penalty like he's ran nearly 60 yards of the ball and stuff like that doesn't go wrong so that's, yeah, that's been you've had many special nights here over the last two years where does this one rank among them it's the best in it I don't even think it's close even and why not go all against balls in the cup? This is just a dream. I was a kid, really. You've got your family here. You're there with you every week. Your girlfriend's in the stand. It probably feels even nicer having all those people. Ah, that's, that's what it's all about. Like, it's all about my dad after the game. See my girlfriend. It's, it's the people around you. I mean, mostly. Can, I could probably get a bit emotional tonight over it and when I've settled down. But yeah, look, it's, it's the reason I'm playing football. And probably only playing so well. The people around me are so good. So I can't thank them enough, really. That 30 seconds after scoring, feel like that third goal, you're just in the oh, riverside yeah, basically. I, I can't really remember, I just, I don't know, I've never actually, I genuinely, I don't think I've ever scored a last minute winner like that. I've never in my whole life, so I kind of remember just jumping up and making one for the ages, I suppose. It would be easy for you, obviously for the last few months you've known that you won't be here next season, but it seems like you're playing like a man who's going to be in Europe next season. Where does that motivation and professionalism come from? It comes from my family and that being bred into it as a young age and it comes from the manager as well, never letting me get ahead of myself and we haven't done that yet, let's get that straight, we still have another job to go next week in a tough place against Strada. But yeah, like it's signing off for me, if I didn't get you up I'd be really disappointed and it would probably stick with me for the rest of my life, that the club that gave me everything, that if I can replay it on 1%, that's all I need to do. So. Could you tell that Dundalk scored from their reaction? Yeah, oh, he actually, it took me about 30 seconds and then I was here at the ball stand so we went, oh, obviously they have to score. And then, and then we can see the five seconds later. So I went, it's like, it's almost like we jinxed it. And then looking enough, we, we got away with it in the end. It's the sign probably of the maturity of the team. Like, that's probably not a game you win last year. No, it's not. It's, it could be a game we lose last year, really. Like, we probably end up throwing away points. I think last year it actually happened to us. They drew one all here and we just sat in and we felt sorry for ourselves. But I think the whole team knew there was going to be one moment, one chance. And I was just lucky enough, it felt to me, thank God. The two penalties as well takes a lot of nerve to stand up on them. Yeah, and it was probably running through my mind that I missed the second panel and slowly got it. And I know Keane had played against him, I've seen him save panel, so I was going, God, maybe he knows. And luckily, I was just, just done this step again and he fell, and thank God it didn't come out in the end. I mean, after Derry, a bit of disappointment probably wasn't all in your hands. As a squad, you've done a lot to drag it back into your hands. It's not completely in your hands, obviously, so the cup final has to go yeah. well, but you've done a lot of your part tonight. Yeah, exactly. Look, it's as simple as we win next week and, and we're in fourth. That's all we can do, it's all we asked for. And, then obviously we're, we're going to have to see how Pat's get on, but as a team and as a group, as ourselves, all we know is what we can affect next door's day, and early in life and in football you can only do what you can affect, so hopefully we'll, we'll get three points next Friday and then see what happens. How do you sum up what the last two years have meant to you? <sighs> Every, my whole life's changed, it's probably a bit too much maybe, it's been, I've put everything into the club, everyone's put everything into me, it's probably hard to think about now, but yeah, it's, been, it's been special. What you missed the most? You. <laughs> nah, the dressing room and the staff, and look, it's the best. I mean, that like when people, we always say, like, I think it's a bit of a cliche for us that all oh, the dressing room and the staff, but genuinely it is. And then obviously the fan, I think the fans, when I jumped up tonight, I was saying six or seven of my mates, and it was just what you dream of as a kid, it's what you want, it's what all your friends want. So I'm delighted for them as well. They've stuck by me sure, many times, and they're probably getting a bit of luck now as well. You said the manager sets high standards of you, you got a kiss there tonight. Yeah. 
that's fine. <laughs> all uh, I took was a hat trick yeah. and a winner. That's all I get. No, he's uh, look, the best manager in the country. Best manager I'll ever have, maybe, but I love him. I don't know what's happening. Big one next week. That's what it's all about. Cheers, Joe. Thank you.